So the lady that owns Grandma Nitty's has opened another restaurant called Mikochina and the head chef is from New York. I gathered up some friends and we went over there to go and try out their menu. So Mikochina is right at the one end of Shin High Road. I will add their Google Maps marker on my blog page. It's a very cute, uh, cozy little bistro. So our group occupied almost half the restaurant today. It's a very small restaurant. I would imagine they seat around about 30 people. They also have one or two outdoor tables. They have an open plan kitchen and this is Chef Lisa. She's super friendly, very chatty. I had a really nice chat with her. And right now she seems to be preparing our bruschetta plate. That's a type of green olive paste with some nice tomatoes and hummus and crostini. This was by far my favorite dish. I'll probably come back to this restaurant just to have this plate of food. It was absolutely fantastic. Now they have a very nice menu starting with some soups and salads. Nishua salad at 220 NT. Then they also have lunch sets. So for the dinners they have that uh, bruschetta trio at 130, the one that I just pointed out that I really like. And then they have their main courses, a whole bunch of things to choose from. You can go through here and see what they have. So this one was the seared ribeye steak with french fries at 480. And this one was mine, it's a pan fried roasted chicken with some mashed potatoes and veggies at 350. And this is a very nice dish, I really enjoyed this dish. This is pan seared risotto cakes. Now usually this is a vegetarian dish but they had some kind of special today with the stewed pork. So uh, Itong had this dish with the stewed pork and I have to tell you, I might actually have this one next time even though I don't eat pork, it was really nice. This one is the fettuccine, the sauce is very light, you might want to order this one spicy, it's 250 NT. For a slightly healthier option you can have a nice micacina chopped salad with chicken and tomatoes and some greens and corn at 250 NT. If you add 150 to your meal, you get, of course, the full set. Uh, after dinner, we decided to upgrade some of our drinks. This is Matt. He decided to upgrade his drink to a verbal verbena mint tea. He also had some carrot cake with that. They have a bunch of desserts to choose from. Uh, we ordered this one separately. This is the uh, red velvet cake and then that white bits in between is uh, like a cheesecake frosting. Pretty good. This one was my favorite. This is the Oreo cheesecake. Really nice. It's like a moussey consistency. Really, really nice cake. On their drinks menu they of course have some coffee and other chilled drinks and then very important they do sell wine by the bottle and very affordably so also. So we got a couple of bottles of wine. Well you know me, I'm all about going into the bathroom and checking out the bathrooms. And this one has a super cool design, it's a very rustic type design. Matches the restaurant really perfectly and very nice and clean too. I also noticed a poster for tea time between 2.30 and 5.30. It looks really nice, but uh, judging by the size of this restaurant, I'm gonna guess they get busy really fast. So the best option here is call ahead and make sure that you have a reserve table waiting for you.